Well, here we are on the side of the house, and whatever side of the house you're on, it doesn't really matter, but there's a lot going on in this area. The first thing I like to start with is the soffit vents. Now, the soffit vents are venting in the overhang of the roof. The purpose of the soffit vents is to bring cooler outdoor air and funnel it into the attic, where it's very, very hot, and then your ridge vent will allow the heat to escape from the attic. All that means you're going to save money on your air conditioning bill. One problem, though, take a look at the soffit vents. A lot of times people have painted over them. Spiders have got webs on them. Anything to impede airflow through those soffit vents is costing you money with heat in the attic. So we want to make sure that there's always open passage for air to move into the attic area. The second area we'll take a look at is the gutters. Now this particular gutter's got a little bit of problems. First of all, you want to always make sure there's no debris in the gutter. Uh, no twigs, no leaves. If it gets clogged up, water spills over the gutter, lands on the foundation, which creates hydrostatic pressure, and will cause your basement to leak. So there's a number of things you can do. This is one. This is called a gutter brush. These actually slide into the gutter, and it keeps debris from clogging up the gutter. You can see it may entangle in the brush itself, but the water will still be able to pass through the brush, pass into the gutter, down the downspout, and away from the home. Now, when I said this gutter has problems, it does have a little bit of problems. You can take a look and see that nail that's pulling out. Well, when that nail's pulling out, that means the gutter is not tight against the house. In fact, if you look behind the gutter, you can actually see sky. So it's not tight against the house, which means the water that's coming down the roof, it's not all going into the gutter. It's not all being pulled away from the house. It's coming down again, landing on the foundation, could cause the basement to leak. So how do you fix it? This one's pretty easy. You can simply just nail that nail back into the ferrule and into the house, which will tighten up the gutter. But a lot of times it's been going on and on, especially after this winter with all the ice. It's pulled away and the hole inside the house has actually got a little larger and that nail won't bite. So they have what they call gutter screws. Same length as the nail, it's just threaded and you can actually screw that gutter against the house and then that guy's not going anywhere. So there's a couple things you gotta take a look at, the soffit vents and make sure the guttering is tight against the house.